and the judges of this bout in the ring B, Mongolia, Uzbekistan, Korea, Slovakia, and Ireland, and the referee for this bout from Poland, Mr. Maciej Jurgot. Kyra of Turkey in the blue there, and the canoe of Romania in the red. Some pretty obvious physical differences between the two. Kyra is the, the taller fighter. And we'll see if uh, we get the kind of style matchup that often comes when, when this is the case. Kyra, a southpaw boxing in the blue, the canoe of Romania in the red. And he is looking to be aggressive and get on the front foot, close that gap, get inside and let his hands go, which is what you generally expect from somebody of that kind of stature. And it's the same formula we've had a few times today. The question is, does Kaya have the ability to, to catch Dikanu on the way in, essentially? It looks like he might have. He set his feet nicely there and let two, three punches go as Dikanu was looking to try and advance. He's got to keep his head on the move as he closes in there. Dikanu make himself as hard to, to pick off in the way in as he, as he possibly can. He's pecking with the jab a little bit there, Kaya. But he's moved his feet well so far when Dikanu has rushed in on him. Sometimes he's held his feet and, and rattled off some punches. Other times he's taken those feet back to give himself a little bit of, of space. Head movement there from Dikanu. He moved his head when he was out of range, and when he got into range, he was completely still. That's a good one too there, though, from Dikanu. Just pushed Kai back into the corner and caught him there. Nice and clean. Looking for the body there, Kaya. Just been backed up to the ropes a little bit there and manages to slide away to his left. Left hand there from Dikanu. He's just beginning to get to Kaya. A touch towards the end of the round. Just beginning to walk him down a bit more effectively. If you're going to do this in a three-round fight, then you really have to bring maximum pressure all the way through. You cannot let your opponent breathe for one second. And Dikanu is not allowing Kaya to do that. Kaya again just finds himself backed into the corner towards the ropes, sets his feet, lets the combination go. Maybe not quite as much on those towards the end of the round as there was at the start. Finishes with a right to the body there, Kaya. And that's what I mean there, he moves his head when he's out of range, and then when he gets into range, he carries his head absolutely still. Dikanu, that is, the fighter in red. So, bell goes at the end of the first round, and I think this could be an interesting one as we head down the stretch, because Dikanu is going to work furiously to take as much out of that tank, out of Kai's tank, as he possibly can. And there were signs there towards the end of the first round that that he was beginning to feel the pace a bit there, Kaya. He was made to work very hard and split scoring, and Kaya has, has won it. That's the way I would have gone. I felt like he dominated the first two minutes, and in the last minute, that was probably the canoes. And he'd done enough over the first couple of, of minutes there, Kaya, to, to hold on. The second round now, absolutely crucial. Dekanu has got to come out every bit as quick as he did in the opening round. He's got to try and move that head a bit more on the way in. But as I said, signs towards the end of the first round there that as the round progressed, a bit of pop was going off the punches of Kaya. 
He's Round. got to try. And, he's got to try and bring that heat as hot as he possibly can right from the off. Here, De Canute. Good right hand there from Kayet. Looking for those combinations, just bundled back into the ropes, then leans in and gets hold of De Canute. De Canute shrugs him off and throws the right hand, keeping that guard high. This is where he wants him, De Canute, just pushes him back in towards the corner. 30 seconds gone in in round two. De Canute stalking again, holding his feet there, Kai, just setting his feet. He has to, to get some power into the punches. He can't just be flying around the ring for, for three minutes, avoiding his opponent. Not much on that right hand from Kai. Nice left on the inside there, though, from the Turkish fighter. Dikanu looking to get straight back on him. He's tracking him well here, Dikanu, but he's just not quite yet managed to, to get too many punches off where he needed them, and down he went there. I think he just tripped over the... Well, got tangled up in the ropes and, and tripped there, really, Kai. Just pot shotting with that left hand there, Kai. Combination on the inside. Dikanu's got to keep the faith here, but if he keeps applying the pressure, he will get to Kaya. But a bit like the first round, you'd say that Kaya has, has got himself into the lead as we head towards the final minute of, of round two. Well, the referee's taken a point there for holding from Kyra, and that could be that could be really important. I make this his round so far, but that would level it up as basically an, an even round heading into the into the final round. And if the judges go the other way and feel that Deacon has won this round with a point off, that's that could be huge. Kaya. I wouldn't say he's done an undue amount of holding, but the referee's closer than me. He can see that the body language of the fighter's better. Just digging his toes in there, Kyra, and letting the one-two go. The bell goes at the at the end of the round. Losing a point in a three-round fight can be can be bad, bad news. It just depends how the judges have scored that round. They'll score it disregarding the, the point deduction. That'll be that'll be taken off subsequently. Ooh, split scoring. Split scoring, so this is right in the balance. Kai is ahead on two cards, De Canute ahead on the other three, just one point. Separating the two on all five. So De Canute a point ahead with, with those three judges who felt that he won the round and there was then the point off. He was always on the front foot, he was always aggressive. Third round. Did he get through with that much clean? I'm not sure, but this is right in the balance. Heading into the third and final round and the slight advantage is with De Canute. That point off is big, it's so big. Without that point deduction, then Kai would be two points ahead on two cards and the other three would be level and he would just need a final round with one of those three judges. That was a bit rough there from, from De Canoe, who just threw Kaya to the ground, basically. Nice right hand to the body there from De Canoe, who again just keeps coming forward, left to the body that time.
He's got to be careful there. He's just being warned for holding again there, Kai. The referee could take another point. That is certainly not impossible. Right hand there from Deacon. And Kai's just trapped on the ropes here. Fatigued look about both of these two now, actually. Kai, as he's just trying to pump his hands out there. Midway point of the round. This last 90 seconds is going to feel like a long time for both of these. Just a reminder of how this is poised. Heading into the final round, Kaya had a one-point advantage with two judges. De Canu had a one-point advantage with three. If he could hold that advantage, of course, with with those three, then he'll then he'll win the fight. But this has been a close final round. Heading into the final minute. Arm punches he's really from Kai now. There's not much. There's not much on them. He's just pushing those hands out. Dekanu coming forward. He's feeling the pace of this one too. And Kai just walking him back to the ropes. And Dekanu really allowing it to happen. That's not holding. The referee talking about holding there. That isn't holding. Kai just sinks into Deacanu there and he is looking to grab a hold there. Careful, he's got to be careful. The referee telling them both to, to listen to his instructions. 20 seconds to go here. That's a good punch there from Kai, whose gum shield comes out, his mouth hanging open because he's trying to suck the air in. Basically, that's how that happened. Deacanu coming back to the neutral corner just above me, had a good look down the camera lens. Again, he's been on the front foot all the way through this final round and that could count, that could count. Not that much clean and solid as has got through from, from Kai. He's thrown a lot of punches and he has landed some, he has had some success, but it's been Deacon who has been rolling forward, rolling forward. Just setting his feet there, Kaya landed a couple there on the inside as the canoe is coming forward. Bell's going to go any second, there it goes, and we'll just have to wait and see which way this one has gone. They seem pretty confident. In both corners, actually. The more accurate punching looked to me to have come from Kaya in that in that final round. He's on the back foot. He's moving off as he's throwing. Every now and again, he, he has to hold his feet and and let his hands go. Deacon, he was always coming forward, but I just don't know how effective he was in terms of the clean punching. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the results of fight in ring B. Win by points with unanimous decision. From the blue corner, Sam Kaya Tarki. Well, Kaya has got it by unanimous decision. And what those stars mean there is that basically when the, when the score is level, that judge will have to give an opinion, a verdict on who they feel has won the fight. And they have all given the verdict that it's Kaya who has won the fight. He's got it on that one card at the bottom.